I felt strong. The number on the scales determined my happiness for that day. There is a house built out of stone. If I wasn't satisfied, I refused to eat. Wooden floors, walls, and windowsills. Food stopped being something I enjoyed. Tables and chairs worn by all of the dust. Pizza, ice cream, and takeaway instilled fear into me. This is a place where I don't feel alone. But I couldn't be ill because I wasn't underweight. This is a place where I feel at home. The fear of food, the refusal to eat, the fainting, the chills running through my body and blue nails, that seemed normal. Normal because I was a normal weight. I was exhausted. My mental health was declining rapidly. Food made me feel guilty, ashamed, fat. And I built a home for you, for me. And did Every single part of the day revolved around food. I had spent so much time chasing weightlessness. that I didn't know how to forge an identity for myself in a world where I was no longer thin. Ground had a rose and passed its name. People always assume once you reach normal weight you're fine. By the cracks of the skin I climbed to the top. That I'm not fine and I never was. I climbed the tree to see the world. A normal weight does not signify a normal mind. Ghosts came around to blow me down. No one seems to care anymore. I held on as tightly as you held on to me. Now that you look as healthy as everybody else. I held on as tightly as you held on to me. You're recovered. No, I'm not. I don't look sick and physical exams would confirm that my body is healthy, but my mind isn't. Anorexia nervosa is a disease that will truly never go away. It has no clear victim. It affects people of all ages, of all backgrounds, of all weights, of all cultures and of all social class. Thin is not the definition of an eating disorder, but mental illness, fear and death are.